So hello everybody, it is Friday, so it's time for another Tax Friday. It's a new tax function every single Friday. Now, in today's Tax Fridays, I have a very short quiz for you. Let's see if you can get it right. Okay, let's look at the Power BI file. Uh, I have a visualization that contains two cards, and then I have the same visualization, but it's just made out of a matrix. My question to you is, which one of those two do you think will perform better in Power BI? Just pause for a second, think about it, and when you're ready, come back and we will go through it. Okay, are you back? Do you know? Let me know in the comment box which one do you thought it was correct. Anyhow, this is what's going on. Uh, the visualization that is going to be most effective is actually option two. Why? It is due to something called DAX Fusion. And the exhibition was something that it was presented by Phil Simark a long time ago, and it is quite an interesting concept. Here's what happens when you create a, power, a DAX formula, it gets sent to then to the engine, which is called the Vertipack engine, and the, there are two components on the DAX. Vertipack engine that comes into play when analyzing and returning an answer of your measure. The one is the formula engine and the other one is the storage engine. And I have a video explaining those, so make sure that you go and check it out in case you haven't. But in short terms, what, what the formula engine does is uh, is able to solve complex calculations, complex tax measures, while the storage engine is able to scan, that's how they call it, they scan a database. So it's able to go through the rows of the database very, very quickly and find the information that is needed in order to be able to solve the measure that you created. Let's say that you want to have sales for 2015, so the storage engine will actually scan the database for 2015 records and return that in order to produce a result. So far, so good, right? Okay, so what is this DAX fusion thing? It's actually quite interesting. The concept of this and what Phil explains here, he actually has a Power BI file that you can go and download and has some examples that you can go through. So I will link them below, obviously, so you can go through it. But the concept, or at least one of the concepts, is that if you have a lot of measures or calculations that are performed on the same table, here you can see that all the calculations are are being done on the sales table. Then before DAX Fusion, you would have five scans on the database for each of these measures. With DAX Fusion, that doesn't happen anymore. Instead of having five scans, you only have one, which means that it performs quicker. So it goes on and says, for example, if you add a filter to one of the measures, even if it is on the same table, what happens is that you won't be able to have one scan, you, you will have two, one for the others and another one just specifically for these. So there are some things that allow the DAX fusion to kick in and others don't. Now, if we go back to our example here, for every visual that you have, a new DAX query is performed. That means that you will have one DAX query equals one scan one DAX query equals one scan. That means that it's two scans. I've seen a lot of reports that have like six, seven, eight of these cards running around, which means that seven scans, even if you put everything on a matrix, this is actually a matrix that, that has been um, formatted. So it looks like a card, but it's, it's actually a matrix. So you can, if you want to have the individual boxes, you can just paint them on top. And you will be good to go. But because all of these these two measures come from the same table, DAX Fusion kicks in and this thing performs faster. Did you know that? That's super cool. Now, question, which I'm sure is going through your mind. It definitely went through mine when I read this. And it is, it says here, DAX Fusion is not a property setting or hint that you have direct control over. It's just something that kicks in depending on how you write your DAX. Uh, measure of your DAX formula. Now, the, the only thing that he explains is just this one, that if it comes from the same table, it would just kick in. I would love for Phil to do more examples of what other things can we do to actually uh, 
have the DAX Fusion kick in and help us you know, have more performance reports. So hopefully they will do it very, very soon. But anyhow, it is actually a very, very cool tip. Put all the measures, you know, avoid the cards if they come from the same table because you will be able to have better performance. If they come from different tables, you will have to do different scans anyhow, so you won't win anything. But still, it's something to think about in case your reports are not performing very well. <laughs>